Hi everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week, we will be talking about a new Sega Genesis core in development, CD audio support for the Amiga and AO486 cores, improvements to the Nintendo 64 core, and more. So let's get to it. Sorge, the creator of the Mr. Project, is porting the Nuked MD FPGA core to Mr. Nuked MD is a cycle accurate Genesis Mega Drive software emulator. It was also ported to FPGA, but not as a Mr. Core. While I cannot say for certain, the fact that Sorge is porting this leads me to believe that this core might provide some accuracy improvements over the current Genesis Core. NukedMD also supports Sega's trademark security system. This is the security Sega added to later revisions of their 16-bit consoles to prevent non-licensed third parties from developing games for it. I would never enable this, but if you want the text that says produced by or under license from Sega Enterprises Limited to pop up every single time you load a game, I guess you will have that option. You can get more details for this core on Sorge's Patreon. Attract17 posted that Pramod's NARC core will soon be released. NARC is a run and gun game by Williams Electronics. It was a pretty violent game for the time and it sparked criticism for its violence. Little did they know that an even more violent game based on the same hardware will be released soon. And speaking of that game, with the release of NARC, that might mean that we will be getting development updates for Mortal Kombat. We have been receiving hints of the core the past couple of weeks, and also an MRA for Mortal Kombat also exists. Great news for fans of the AO46 and Amiga cores. Developer Zack has added CD audio support to these cores. This is very useful for games that use CD audio for their music or gave you the option of using CD audio. And you should be able to use your favorite retro CD player on these cores. With Vertex permission, Otego has released an alternate version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles core. I know that Vertex is really busy with other projects, so Otego might be in a better position to maintain the core. Otego already has the JT Aliens core and the Aliens arcade game runs on similar hardware to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Compared to Vertex Core, this one should be fully featured, and it's also likely to become the basis of a larger core supporting other games. Also, keeping with the Ninja Turtles theme, Otego announced that work on Turtles in Time has started. After releasing a few cores, Otego is now getting back to the Neo Geo Pocket Core, and a small bug in the CPU instruction was fixed. Wizzle has updated his favorite script for Mr. The new systems that have been added are Neo Geo CD, Saturn, N64, Amiga, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Pocket Challenge V2, SG-1000, and the WonderSwan Color. You can download the script through Update All by enabling Wizzle's Mr. extensions. There is a current Mr. FPGA Discord game challenge where you compete to get a high score. If you want to participate, the current game being played is the arcade version of Capcom's Magic Sword. It's a single credit game challenge and goes until August 25th. The Nintendo 64 core has received an update that fixed some issues with random pixel flickering. Robert says that while this image is still missing a lot, it should be a lot cleaner now. And we got another update that shows even more improvements to the core. The RDP now has 32-bit RGB texturing and perspective correction. Robert says there's still more tasks open before the first games will look correct. I totally forgot about posting this last week, but the Saturn Core has had a recent update. SRG320 gave a progress update, noting fixes to the SCSCP, the SCU, CD audio fixes, and added a major quality of life feature, and that is save game support. So now you can save and continue your progress for games that support it. Keep in mind that this core is still under heavy development. There is no official release, but you can download unofficial builds. I'll provide links to those builds in the description. With the addition of CD audio to the Amiga core, CD32 games now should work better. Amiga Vision posted a document that gives the status of CD32 games on Mr. The document lists whether a game works, has gamepad controls, CD audio status, and any other things you should know. You can also participate to update the list with your own findings. Running CD32 games on the Amiga Core is not a straightforward process, but I put some links in the description to show you how to get Amiga CD32 games set up. So that's it for this episode. 
I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.